Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite vanilla fragrances. So vanilla is one of my favorite notes in perfumes, and I have a lot of vanillas in my collection, but I picked out 10 vanilla fragrances that are a little bit different from each other. They're not just the same kind of straightforward, cupcake-y, sweet bakery kind of vanilla, although there are some of those in here. But then there's also other types of vanilla as well. But vanilla is definitely the main accord of each of these fragrances, so I feel like I have a little bit of something for everyone, unless you don't like vanilla, which then I'm not sure why you would have clicked on this thumbnail. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail today. I really appreciate you being here. If you like this video and you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get into this video. All right, the first one is a little bit more of an obvious vanilla. This is by The Seven Virtues and this is Vanilla Woods. This is one of my all-time favorite vanillas in my collection. It was one of my most worn fragrances of 2022 because I find it super comforting, cozy, cocooning, and just so enjoyable to wear. Now, when I first smelled this, I did not like it because I get this smokiness from this fragrance that I didn't really like, which there's pear in the opening of this, and sometimes I feel like pear can come off, sometimes pear can come off a little bit smoky. And I'm not really sure if the pear is causing the smoky vibe, but for me, it does die down after a couple of minutes. The smokiness goes away. Now, I've heard some people say that the smokiness lasts the entire wear, so just keep that in mind depending on how you feel about a smoky fragrance. But for me, I'm glad it dies down. And then as it dries down, this turns into the most beautiful vanilla and caramel ambery fragrance ever. And I really like the way this smells on my skin, but I think I prefer how it smells in the air. There's something about the scent bubble that I get with this fragrance. There's something about the sillage of this perfume that just makes me feel like I'm in some sort of cocooning vanilla caramel heaven <laughs> and I really really enjoy this one as you can tell by the dent. I get pretty good performance out of this. It's not a beast fragrance but it is very moderate performing. I have also paired this with a couple other things that have like pear notes in it and this is a pretty good layering fragrance as well so really really enjoy this one plus I think the price is pretty good. This is a niche house and it's only $85 for the bottle which isn't the most affordable fragrance ever but it's also definitely not the most expensive of niche fragrance in the world. So that is by The Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods, incredibly enjoyable to wear. Okay, another fragrance that is super sweet and one that I reached for a lot in 2022 is by Atar Collection, Crystal Love For Her. This is sweet vanilla. There's fruity notes in the opening. There's some nutmeg, so you get just a tiny bit of this like baking spice, but not a ton. You know, it's not a spicy perfume at all, but there's definitely nutmeg in here and I do pick it up. There's also milk chocolate in here and I pick up a lot of the milk chocolate. And then there's a lot of vanilla in the base. So there's bourbon vanilla in the base and there's tonka beans. So it is just incredibly beautiful. I love bourbon vanilla. I absolutely love it. There's just something about it. It smells a little boozy, which is why I'm sure they call it bourbon vanilla. And then the tonka bean in here makes it just a little bit powdery. So to me, this just smells like a very sweet nutmeg, milk chocolate, bourbon vanilla and tonka bean bomb. And I find it so fun to wear. It is incredibly enjoyable. Plus the performance of this is outstanding. It is a very sweet fragrance, so you have to be into sweet perfumes. But if you love milk chocolate and you love bourbon vanilla, the sound of that together, then I think you would really, really like this. Every single time I wear it, I know I'm gonna enjoy it and I know that I'm gonna be able to smell it on me all day, and I know I'm just gonna love that comforting, cocooning scent bubble of vanilla and chocolate swirling around me all day, and I just love it. So that is by Atar Collection, Crystal Love For Her. All right, up next we're gonna talk about a salty vanilla. This is by Paco Rabanne, and this is Olympia. This is definitely a vanilla-forward fragrance, but there's other things going on besides just vanilla. To me, this is a very ambery, salty vanilla. So in the opening, you have have some water jasmine I believe there's some ginger in here in the opening as well and then there's a lot of vanilla there's salt 
There's ambergris. It's very, very salty. Like the salt is pretty obvious in here. It is a very loud, very strong, very sexy fragrance. This is one of my all-time favorite fragrances to wear on a hot summer night if I'm going out on like a sexy date night with my husband and I want to feel just extra sexy and I know it's going to be hot outside. My husband loves this one for date nights on a hot summer night and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. So if you're into salty vanillas, this is definitely one. If you like loud fragrances, if you like ultra sexy fragrances, definitely go for this one. I absolutely love it. One of my all-time favorite fragrances and I just... I can't get enough of this one. This one never gets old. Like I never get sick of this one. Although I really only pull for this one in the summertime, but when summer comes, I just can't imagine not having this one. So this is by Paco Rabanne Olympia. All right, up next we have by Kaali Vanilla 28. This is such a beautiful vanilla fragrance. Although interestingly enough, there's not actually vanilla in here. So I'm reading the notes. There's vanilla orchid, there's jasmine, there's brown sugar, there's tonka bean, which I feel like tonka bean comes across a lot of times as vanilla. And then there's amber, amber wood, musk and patchouli in the base. So I find it kind of interesting that there's vanilla orchid and not actually vanilla, but it smells very vanilla. Obviously it's called Vanilla 28. So to me, this smells like a brown sugar, vanilla and tonka bean bomb. Definitely pick up the brown sugar in here and I think that's what makes this so absolutely perfect. Like this is such a delicious, yummy, baked goods, brown sugar and vanilla type of fragrance. This is absolutely fantastic for layering and the longer it sits, the darker the juice gets and the better the performance. When I first got this fragrance, it was very light, like a light brown and I was not super impressed with the performance. I mean, I, I, I didn't think it was terrible, but it didn't, it didn't last as long as I had hoped, but now that it has sat for a while, this, this is a pretty decent performing fragrance. It's still not a beast, but it's pretty moderate and I'm pretty satisfied satisfied with the performance I get out of this. I layer this with so many things and I'm not even a big person who layers, you know, but if I want to sweeten something up, if I want to give something more vanilla, maybe make something feel a little bit more feminine, then this is definitely the fragrance. But I love to wear this one on its own because I think just on its own it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a staple. I feel like this is a must-have in my collection and if you're a vanilla lover, I think it is just a staple. Like, I really think everybody should have this in their collection, but that's just me. Do what you want. But personally, I, I just can't imagine not having this one because I use it, like I said, I use it for layering. I use it on its own and it's just so comfy, cozy, and delicious. So if you like the idea of vanilla and brown sugar, then I would recommend by Kaali Vanilla 28. All right, let's talk about a vanilla I discovered in the summer of 2022. I was looking for a vanilla that I could wear in the summertime that wasn't a salty vanilla. You know, not an obvious like summertime vanilla. I didn't want a coconut vanilla or a salty vanilla. I wanted something that was vanilla that wasn't gonna suffocate me. You know what I mean? That wasn't gonna be too strong, too thick, or anything like that, that was different from what I had. And I found it when I got Zerzhoff's Dama Bianca. So this was a blind buy for me and I fell in love with this fragrance. I think this is such a gorgeous citrusy vanilla. I'm gonna call it that, but that's not, it's, that's not right. Like it's not, it is citrusy, okay? <laughs> but it's not your typical citrus. So this isn't orange, this isn't lemon. This is kumquat and lime in the opening, which I think is such a beautiful opening. And I I've never smelled kumquat before, but it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, is this a gorgeous fragrance. And the lime in here is so good. I've been really, really into lime fragrances lately. And this summer, I feel like I'm gonna just go berserk on the lime, like the summery lime fragrances. There are a couple I have my eye on but we'll, we'll talk about that later. There's also some floral notes in here, like there's iris, there's violet, lilac, there's Egyptian, jasmine. I don't really get a ton of the florals in here. I can kind of pick up that there's a floral aspect in here, but I couldn't say 
oh, there's this floral or there's that floral. I kind of pick up a floral. So I get this very interesting, unique citrusy vibe in the opening, a slight hint of floral, but in the base, I get a big blast of this delicate, slightly powdery. Some people say this is a very powdery fragrance, but on me it's not, but it's a little bit of a delicate, powdery vanilla that is so perfect for summertime. The base of this is vanilla, malt, there's ambrette, white musk, sandalwood, and cedar. I do pick up on the musk and I do pick up on that cedar like a woody vibe to this fragrance for sure. I cannot get over this fragrance. This has got to be a top 10 for life for me. I am due to do an updated top 10 for life video and I'm pretty sure this would make it in here. It was definitely my best blind buy of 2022. That is by Zerjoff Dama Bianca. All right, another fragrance that is not necessarily your like gourmand cupcakey vanilla, but it has a lot of vanilla in it. Vanilla is definitely the main main accord to this fragrance. This is by the House of Guerlain. This is Mon Guerlain Intense. This is one of my all-time favorite date night fragrances, especially in colder weather, and there is a lot of vanilla in here, but there's a lot of stuff going on. Like, this is very vanilla forward, but it's not gourmand cupcakey vanilla. So if you're not into that, if you're looking for something that has vanilla in it but actually still smells like a perfume and not a baked good, this is a great one. I absolutely love this fragrance. This has lavender in it and I'm not always the biggest fan of lavender but the way it's done in here, it is absolutely beautiful. I just cannot get over this fragrance. This is one of the first fragrances that I bought when I started collecting fragrances and I'm still in love with this perfume to this day. This is my husband's favorite scent on me. He loves it. I wear it for date nights all the time. He thinks that this is so sexy, and it is, but it's not sexy like Olympia sexy. It's not loud sexy. It's not obnoxious sexy. It is classy sexy. This is a classy and elegant, but yet very sexy fragrance. It has a dark base that I just absolutely love, and I just think the performance is great. The scent is great. The packaging is great, like the bottle is great. Everything about this fragrance is a 10 out of 10 for me. So there's lavender, there's mandarin orange and bergamot in the opening, and then in the mid you get two different types of vanillas. You get Tahitian vanilla and Madagascar vanilla. And then there's iris, jasmine, and rose. The base though is my favorite. I tell you guys this every time I talk about this perfume, but in the base you have patchouli and licorice. There's other notes in the base, but I love the combination of patchouli and licorice mixed together because it creates this dark, deep, sexy, yet super classy and elegant smelling fragrance. So this is great for like a nice fancy dinner out. You know, if you need something that's sexy but yet classy, Mongrelon Intense. Another one in that same family, it's very, very vanilla forward, but it's not a gourmand vanilla. It still smells like a perfume. That is by YSL and this is Lieb Intense. This is my favorite Lieb out of all of them, although I really do like the new flanker, the Le Parfum. That one is beautiful as well, but I still think I slightly prefer this one, and this one is very, very vanilla forward. So this is, main accord is vanilla, and then followed closely under that, I would say, is white florals. There are a lot of white florals in here. They don't smell heavy to me. There's a lot of lavender in here as well, but to me, it's just like the the way that the Mongerlan Intense is done, the lavender in here is done very, very well. It's very smooth to my nose. The original leaves smelled a little bit scratchy, and the lavender was a bit too overpowering. I think in here, mixed with a lot more vanilla, it's just so much easier to digest. It just smells so much better. As this dries down, this turns into a very strong vanilla forward fragrance. This is another very classy, very sophisticated and elegant type of fragrance, and it is very, very loud. The performance is super strong, like this is beast mode. I have to be careful not to overspray this one or I will get a headache, but I just love this one. There's also ambergris in here as well, so I get a tiny bit of just a tiny, tiny bit of a salty vibe in here. The vanilla that's in here is Madagascar vanilla. It's so smooth. Like, this smells so smooth to me. And then there's also tonka bean in here as well, which kind of, I think, amps up that vanilla feel, the vanilla vibe. Sometimes when there's vanilla and tonka bean together, the tonka bean just makes it smell like it has even more vanilla, if that makes sense. So, beautiful fragrance in my opinion, one of my favorites. That is by YSL Lieb Intense. 
All right, let's go to a gourmand vanilla for you gourmand lovers out there. If you're looking for something edible, delicious, that actually smells like a baked good, then I would recommend by Gisette Parfums. This is Accident Olive Vanille. This is pretty new to my collection and I just absolutely love this. So there's vanilla in the opening, there's vanilla in the mid, and then there's vanilla in the base. <laughs> so there's a lot of vanilla in here. This is definitely a vanilla forward fragrance for sure. There is no caramel listed in this fragrance, but I do not believe it. I believe there's caramel in here because I smell it so strongly. I've told you guys this before, but I feel like this is the perfume version of Sol de Janeiro's the 71. I can never remember what it's called. I think it's 71 is what it's called. The one that has the caramel and the popcorn note in it, I think it's 71 from Sol de Janeiro, the body spray. I've told you guys I don't really like that body spray just because there's something in it that like popcorn vibe in that fragrance kind of smells a bit plasticky to me and artificial this is the perfume version if you were to make it so much smoother and take out that weird plasticky note and get this just absolutely delicious baked goods vanilla so this smells like a vanilla cookie baking in the oven with like caramel swirls in it or something it's just so delicious and my husband actually tells me that i do smell like a bakery when i wear this so it is quite literally an edible foodie gourmand fragrance in my opinion and i just absolutely love it so for all my gourmand lovers out there definitely check this out. Also, the performance is pretty decent. I've worn this a couple of more times since I got it, and I will say it's pretty good. It's not a super, super loud Philippa Room fragrance, but it's definitely a good performing fragrance. I get decent performance, and I get the most comforting just sillage scent bubble around me that just wafts up, and I just get this delicious caramel cookie vibe, and I just it makes me hungry. <laughs> it makes me hungry. I actually crave dessert every time I wear this. So I don't know if it's good. You know, if you're on a diet, maybe you shouldn't <laughs> wear this because it's going to make you crave cookies, but I think it is super enjoyable to wear. So that is by Gisette Parfums Accident Olive Vanille. All right, let's talk about a tropical coconut vanilla for summertime. I love this fragrance. This is by Mansara. This is Coco Vanille. So I definitely get vanilla as the star of the show in here, but also very closely with that, I get a lot of coconut. And this is so great to wear in the summertime. Every time I smell this, it makes me crave summer. I want summer back so bad. The holidays are over. I'm not in the holiday spirit anymore. I want summer. I want to go to the beach. I want to go to the pool. I want to go on boat rides. I want to go surfing. I want summer. In the opening has coconut and white peach. I do pick up a little bit of both of those. Not a lot, mostly coconut. And then there's tiare flower in here, which I definitely pick up on that. Definitely smells like tropical florals in here as well. And then there's Ylang Ylang Jasmine. In the base you have Madagascar Vanilla, White Musk, and Woody Notes. I really feel like I pick up a lot of those notes in this fragrance, but definitely first, I would say, the first accord is Vanilla, followed closely by Coconut. Now the Coconut in here does not smell like the most realistic coconut on the planet, I will say. It is a bit beachy, tiny hint sunscreeny, but not not over the top, definitely not over the top. So it's not like a screechy, sunscreeny, super artificial smell, but it, it does have a tiny sunscreen vibe. So if you really hate that, then steer clear of this one, but I think it smells exactly like summertime. So if you're looking for a tropical summertime, sweet coconut vanilla scent, with also some you know tropical florals thrown in there then i think you'd really really like this one it's not super loud i know mansara's can be like beast mode and overpowering and super strong but this one i don't find to be that way this is just a moderate performing fragrance for me this would be too cloying it would be too much if it was super strong so i think this one is perfect performance for what it is and for the time of year that i would wear it for so that is mansara coco vanille 
All right, you guys, this video is not ranked. These perfumes were in no particular order, but I did save my very favorite vanilla fragrance for last. This is not gonna be a surprise to anyone who's been watching my channel, but if you're new here, my favorite vanilla in my collection is by the House of Guerlain, and this is Spiritueux Stuble Vanille. This is such a gorgeous vanilla. I cannot get over it, and oftentimes I'll just go up to it and sniff it. I will just smell it. It's on my tray for January, and I've been wearing it, which has kind of been difficult to do because this is such an expensive fragrance and sometimes super expensive fragrances I don't like to just wear all willy-nilly. <laughs> I want to save them for a special occasion, but I've been forcing myself to be better and just wear my fragrances because I don't have that many special occasions in my life, so I just have to wear my fragrances. You know, every day is a special occasion, right? You know, I really want to be that person. I want to be that person who looks at life that way. Every day is a gift. Every day is special. I, I'm thankful for every day. I've been wearing this one just on regular days, okay? And I do have a nice little dent in here, which makes me... Ooh, is it getting hot in here? And this is a boozy, woody vanilla. It is super sophisticated, super grown-up vanilla. It smells like the most elevated and grown-up vanilla I think I've ever smelled in my life. This is not a cupcakey, sweet gourmand vanilla, although there's nothing wrong with that. I love those as well. I would wear this to a very fancy occasion type of vanilla, even though I've just been wearing it anyway but that's what I picture. When I think of this fragrance, I think of something very elegant, classy, and sophisticated that I would wear this to. So on Fragrantica, there are no boozy notes listed, but I do think on Guerlain's official website, it does list rum as one of the top notes, and that makes a lot of sense because to me, this does smell very, very boozy. I think there's incense in here as well. I don't pick up much of a smoky vibe, but I do get kind of like a depth to this fragrance for sure. Not sure if that's the incense. There's cedar in here as well, which I definitely pick up on a woody vibe from here for sure. I get a boozy, woody vanilla. There's just something super special about this fragrance. It is very boozy though to my nose, so I really do feel like you have to like boozy fragrances in order to like this. I know a lot of people complain about the performance of this fragrance. It is not a super strong fragrance at all, but to me it is acceptable. I get about five, maybe six hours of wear out of this fragrance, and I have a small scent bubble that I do smell, and I've had other people comment on this fragrance, so I know other people smell it. It definitely will not fill up a room. It's not super loud, but it does give me a nice scent bubble, and it does give me enough of those like wafts throughout my day for me to be able to smell it on myself and for me to find it acceptable. So I get, I'd say, moderate performance out of this fragrance, and that is good enough for me because I think the smell is mind-blowingly good. Again, my favorite vanilla of all time. Absolutely love this one. So this is by the House of Guerlain, Spiritueux Stuble Vanille. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Please let me know in the comment section what vanillas you love and what you would recommend for me. I cannot get enough of vanillas. That's one of those notes that I could just have a ton in my collection and not ever get tired of it. So let me know your recommendations. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!